Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging radical equation. The given equation is 6 root of x equal to square root of square root x plus 1 minus 1. Given x is positive and we have to find out real values of x. I will demonstrate two methods to solve this problem. Let me write here method number 1 and I will begin with domain of the equation obviously so square root x plus 1 so x should be greater than minus 1 and left hand side if you will see 6 root of x so conclusion is same x should be positive always now i will begin with considering whole square both sides as you can see right hand side is having a square root term so i will begin with whole square so i will write x power 1 by 6 whole square equal to square root of square root x plus 1 minus 1 whole square. Now square root and square will be over. Left hand side you will write cube root of x. Right hand side we have got square root of x plus 1 minus 1. Now obvious substitution that would be we will consider here or before that we can take cube also. So better is to consider cube both sides. I will consider cube. I will consider cube in the RHS also. So left hand side will be radical free. Right hand side it will be root of x plus 1 minus 1 whole cube. Now we will use substitution. So better is to consider square root x plus 1 is there. So x plus 1 will be equal to suppose t square so from here we can conclude x should be equal to t square minus 1 so in left hand side we will put t square minus 1 in rhs it would be t minus 1 whole cube so using difference of two squares we can write left hand side as t plus 1 times t minus 1 and right hand side it is unchanged t minus 1 whole cube. Let us take all the term to one side. So I will write here t minus 1 whole cube minus t minus 1 or t plus 1 t minus 1 or t minus 1 t plus 1 equal to 0. Now t minus 1 is common term. I will take t minus 1 out inside the bracket it would be left with t minus 1 whole square minus t plus 1 equal to 0. So f dot g equal to 0. We can conclude f should be 0, g should be 0. So I will write t minus 1 equal to 0 or t minus 1 whole square minus t plus 1 equal to 0. Remember our substitution was x plus 1 equal to t square. So from first equation, this equation, I can conclude t equal to 1 or t square is equal to 1. This is square equal to 1. So in this place, I will write x plus 1. So x plus 1 equal to 1. Conclusion is x should be 0. So first solution of our radical equation is x is equal to 0. Now I will expand this formula a minus b whole square. Let us apply a minus b whole square. So I will write t square minus 2t plus 1 and then minus t minus 1. Plus 1 and minus 1 will be over. So t square minus 3t equal to 0. Take t common it will be t minus 3 inside the bracket. So from here also we are getting t equal to 0 and t equal to 3, two values of t. So once t is 0 or t equal to 3, so what value will be of t square? t square will be 0, t square will be 9. So in that place I will write x plus 1 equal to 0 because our substitution is t square is equal to x plus 1. Here also 
x plus 1 equal to 9. So two more solutions are there, minus 1, which we will reject, and 8, which we will accept. So this one is accepted, and this second one, x is equal to minus 1. This will be rejected as it is negative solution, which will provide complex results. So two solutions are there, x is equal to 0 and 8. Now method number 2. Method number 2 is little tricky. How it would be? x power 1 by 6 it is. So 1 by 6 we can think about it is 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. Check 3 minus 2 is 1 that is numerator and 2 times 3 is 6. So we can write 6th root of x as square root of x over cube root of x. Okay, so left hand side I will write square root x over cube root x. Right hand side is square root, big square root I am putting because I am going to consider rationalization. So I will write over there x plus 1 minus 1. Now rationalization. I will write in second bracket x plus 1 plus 1. And same way I will write in the denominator root of x plus 1 plus 1. Now you can see it is a plus b a minus b written over there. So right hand side it will become a square so root of x plus 1 is square. So square root and square will be over. So x plus 1 and minus b square minus 1 over square root of x plus 1 plus 1. Now you can see this term is over. So ultimately what is the effect of that cube root equal to square root x over square root x plus 1 plus 1. Now you can see square root x square root x we can cancel it by writing our solution x is equal to 0. Done. So now I will write denominator equal. So that is cube root of x is equal to square root of x plus 1 plus 1. Okay. Square root 1 missed out. So correct it. It is a square root. And see this is 3 cube root. Okay. So right hand side we have got square root. Left hand side we have cube root. So what I will do here. I will consider squaring this time. Once I will consider squaring LHS will be x power 2 by 3. What about RHS? RHS will write the square root x plus 1 plus 1. Square root and square will be over. Now I will consider this 1 to the left. So I can write x power 2 by 3 minus 1 equal to square root x plus 1. Now obvious thing I will take a square to reduce or to remove a square root. So let me consider squaring both sides. I will write I will write x power 2 by 3 minus 1 whole square and right hand side square root will be over. So either I can write directly. Let me write directly x plus 1 will be left. Let's consider whole square. So x power 4 over 3 plus 1 done. Now 2ab, so minus 2x power 2 by 3. And right hand side is x plus 1. Now this one, 1 will be over. Now you can see, right hand side we have got x term only. Now I will write all the term to one side. So x power 4 by 3 minus 2 times x power 2 by 3 minus x is equal to 0. Let us take x power 2 by 3 common. In bracket, it would be x power 2. You can see it is 2 by 3. So I will write x power 2 over there. 2 by 3 will be there. In exponent, x power a times x power b is equal to x power a plus b. Once I am taking 2 by 3 common, it would be left in the bracket 2 by 3 also. Power exponent should be 2 by 3 because 2 by 3 plus 2 by 3 is 4 by 3. Second term, it would be 2 third term you can see it is 1 by 3. 
टू प्लस वन बाई थ्री सो थ्री बाई थ्री वन इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वन आई विल राइट एक्स पार वन बाई थ्री इक्वल टू यू फॉर दिस ब्रैकेट ओनली सो यू कैन राइट दिस इज यू स्क्वायर माइनस यू माइनस टू इक्वल टू जीरो क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन लेफ्ट एंड फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टर्म यू कैन कंक्लूड एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो डायरेक्टली यू कैन राइट दिस सोल्यूशन once you will solve this quadratic equation you will write u will come out minus 1 and 2 using quadratic formula or factorization method now see what is u u is cube root of x so what would be the value of x from there x would be u cube so let us find out cube u cube that is equal to x that is equal to minus 1 cube minus 1 2 cube 8 now you can see easily using the second method also we are getting same solution this will be rejected at it is not accepted so our ultimate solution is 0 and 8 i hope this video will be meaningful to you you can verify these values after putting over there so do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care bye